Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here. Today I'm going to unbox a brand new MSI 16-inch gaming laptop. Now, this is not a sponsored episode. This was not given to me. I spent my own hard-earned money on this. And the reason is my previous MSI laptop, which I got in 2021, which is a great laptop, I damaged it last year when I was traveling. I broke one of the hinges, so now it's set up not to be moved anymore at home on a desk. Um, and I do have some business traveling to do. Uh, coming up next week, actually. So I needed to rush in and get a laptop. And I checked all the usual people. I checked Newegg, Amazon, Best Buy, and some other retailers. And again, I went with Best Buy. They're not sponsoring this episode. They have no idea I bought this. Um, and I'm doing a video on it. But in any case, uh, I just found they had the best uh, deal. They do do uh, worry free returns and they do do free two day shipping. So it was, you know, it was uh, the best deal I could find right now. And like I said, I did like my uh, 2021. MSI laptop. It was 17 inches. This time I went to 16 inches. It was an i9. This time I went with an i7. Um, I have i7s and i9s all over the, the place, and I really don't notice a big difference when uh, doing my work between the two. So I figured I could save some money. I also wasn't worried so much about how much memory this has. It only has 16 gigs of RAM. It only has a single one terabyte SSD, but I've been upgrading. I upgraded all my old PCs over the years, even recently upgraded my 2016 laptop with more memory and an SSD, a larger SSD. So that's not a big deal. I can do that on my own as needed, right? And I do like to go to 32 gigs if I'm running multiple VMWares, like if I'm working on, let's say, Factory I.O. with Allen Bradley PLCs or Siemens PLCs, I like to have all those VMware images running at a time. But this is, I really want to focus in this video more on the computer technology and not on that automation stuff. So in any case, uh, let me put up the specs here on this. This is an MSI Corsair 16 inch, 144 Hertz, full HD plus gaming laptop, Intel 14th gen with a core i7, 16 gigabytes of memory, RTX 4070. That was my minimum. I would have went with a 3070 like my old laptop, but those were very hard to find. So I wasn't going to go with the 4060s. I've been staying at the 70s now for, oh, well, going all the way back to the 1070. I have stayed with the 70 series since then. So in any case, and uh, that's it. And it's a great laptop. And again, I bought it because I had so much success with my previous one, except for when I broke the hinge traveling. But besides that, I just really loved it. So because I have to do some travel and I need a laptop for work, I figured I'd pick up the same model. But I got 16 inches, just easier to carry and manage. I love 17 inches, but the 16 inch was, um, you know, you only lose it an inch and it just makes it easier to get around with, right? So in any case, let me go ahead and uh, switch over to the overhead camera here. And I'll put my glasses on and I pre-cut uh, two of the three sides of the seal here. So let me go ahead and cut open the last one. Okay. And, you know, before I pull this out, I want to show you some video that I took of the wrap it came in. And I thought that wrap was very interesting. So I don't remember my previous uh, laptop coming in that, but it does a good job of hiding what is actually in the box. And of course, with an expensive purchase like this out of my own pocket, I waited by the door and had the FedEx guy hand it directly to me. But in any case, I did want to show you how it shipped to me. And now let's go ahead and uh, pull this guy out here. And it looks like I have it upside down. That's okay. Ooh, that was a little noisy. All right. And. Let's see here. I think we want to do it like this. Okay, open this flap here. Okay. And open it up like this. Let's see what's inside here. Okay, put that over there. Put that over there. Usually I get black, but gray is what they had in stock. So I needed something for next week. So that's what I got. So let's put this one side. Okay, I got to be gentler with the equipment. And let's see what's in here. Looks like some manuals, warnings, etc. What's under here? Anything? Okay, here's the power brick. A little bit thinner than my previous laptop. Which I'm surprised because it had a 3070. This has a 4070. But it's probably because it only, it's only 16 inches and not 17. Okay. So, yeah, it looks like it's a different end. I had so many of these for the other laptop. I had one for home, one for the camper, one from, for work. So uh, I may have to buy multiples again. But in any case here, I don't think there's anything else in there. Let's see what's in here. Looks like we're missing the one cable. And that's what it is. Looks like a decent length. Well, I don't know. It's hard to tell when it's still in the bag. 
Reef. Get that out. All right, let's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. See how long it is. Okay. Yeah, it's five feet. <laughs> almost six feet. I'm almost six feet, so pretty close. Maybe it is six feet. And that's it. So nothing else in the box. So let me clear this away, and I'll be right back. Okay, now let's take a look at the unit itself. We'll pull it here out of the bag. And, you know, I usually get black, but this actually looks nice, this silver. Or dark gray. I like that design there, too. All right, so let's look at the back here. Let me turn it like this. And let's go ahead and zoom in here and take a close look at the back side. All right. So, USB 3. HDMI, Ethernet, hmm, is that power? Yeah, oh, the last one I had that's in the back. The last one I had, it's on the side. I don't know if that's better or worse. Okay, do like that the exhaust fans are here on the back. Some of them have them on the side, and that makes your hand hot when you're using your mouse. Let's look at this side here. This would be the left side. So it looks like USB-C. Let's see if we can get in a little bit closer here. Looks like, yeah, USB-C, USB 3.0, and it looks like a reset switch of some type. Little pinhole switch. Okay, let me flip it over to the other side now. Okay, headphone jack, very important. I don't see a microphone jack. I wonder if it's a dual purpose, single jack does both. And another USB port, and then there's your locking port. The only thing I would say right now is, um, I liked having two USB-Cs on my other laptop. But in any case, let's take a look at the bottom here. Zoom out for a moment. You can see the design. Okay, you can see the heat pipes under there. And let's see if we can zoom in on some of the model number information. So this is a Corsair 16HX D14 VGKG. All right, let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, I am glad they ship it with this protective cover. One of my uh, screens has lines in it from resting there. And this is another thing that I don't know yet how much I'm going to like, but these keyboards, again, I didn't spend a lot of time. I just needed to get a laptop in quickly. But a lot of times when they move different key buttons, I, it, it's tough to remember where they are. So we'll see if this is a, if this keyboard is like where the home, insert, delete, home. A lot of times I have to use one of their apps to reprogram things. I do use my numeric keypad quite a bit. So hopefully that will, won't be too small. I actually like the larger keyboard on my 17 inch so we'll see how that goes but uh that is what it looks like on inside i won't know until i use it um how well it does and compared to that other laptop i have but for now you know i'm really going to have to try it out to see uh, if i like it and again i i'm, I'm a little worried about this uh, keyboard being so different than the one i had in the previous model but we'll see only time will tell especially i feel like the number pad is a little cramped right there but in any case if you have any questions for me on you know once i start using it as i start installing the software um please let me know i'll throw a couple games on here too and play it but i did want to as it's a brand new laptop i just opened it up and started using it i did want to share it that experience with you guys in case any of you are looking at picking up a new laptop and you're you're looking for something with a 4070 in it maybe uh something that has the gaming horsepower like this one does and with that, that's the end of this episode, guys. If you, again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And I also want to wish you all good health and happiness. And until next time, my friends, peace.